Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing this makeup look using the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien Palette. So let's go ahead and push our hair back and get our skin ready for foundation. So for primer, I'm going to be using this CoverGirl Skin Smoothing Primer and just applying this all over my face, on my eyelids. Wherever I'm gonna be applying foundation is where I apply the primer. And for foundation today, I'm using a couple of them. The first one is the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation and a little bit of the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. And I'm just putting a few dots of this all over my face and then I'm going to go through and buff everything out with a beauty blender. And then to add a little bit more high coverage to my face, I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer and add a little bit of this underneath my eyes, cheeks, forehead, wherever I want full coverage because whenever we do a crazy eyeshadow look like this, you want your face to be totally flawless. And then to go through and set my entire face, I'm gonna use the new CoverGirl Clean Press Powder and I'm just gonna go in with the powder brush and kind of dab this into the skin, making sure our foundation is set and will not move all day. And then before we go in and do the eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. This one is by Roma London. This is just a natural bronzer in the shade Sunlight. And I'm just gonna go through and add some color back into my skin a little bit. I'm just gonna warm up my temples and my cheeks. Once that is done, we can move on to the eyebrows and I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Pomade. This is just gonna kinda of sharpen up our brows a little bit and add some color back into them because whenever I apply foundation, it kinda of takes away my eyebrows a little bit. So this is just gonna kinda of bring them back to life. Now we can go ahead and get started on the eyes. First, I'm just taking some tape and applying that to the outer parts of both of my eyes. And then we can dive into the Alien Palette. So the first shade I'm going in with is Titan. This is kind of like an invisible eyeshadow, just kind of like the same color as my skin. But I'm applying this all over the eyelids so the rest of the eyeshadows have something to blend over top of. The next shade I'm going in with is Gravity, and I'm just gonna take this up into the crease a little bit. This is just gonna kinda act as a nice crease color and a nice transition color as well. And then diving into the fun colors, I'm gonna be taking this nice, beautiful purple color, which is Area 51, and on a very small, dense eyeshadow brush, I am very carefully starting to build this up into the crease, not on the eyelid, just in the crease area. We're kind of creating a cut crease kind of look. So on both of my eyes, I'm just starting from the outer corner and then putting that right in the deepest part of my crease and then building up the color as we go. So once it looks something like this, we have to go in and blend that out. So I'm using this dusty rose color called Phone Home. And on a different eyeshadow brush, I'm going through and very, very lightly, like hardly touching my skin. I'm just taking that color and blending the purple upwards, not downwards, just to kind of smooth everything out and make it a little bit more smoky. And then before we move on to any other colors, I'm just gonna go through and cut the crease really quick. I'm just gonna be using a packed concealer. You can use whatever works best for you. And on just a very small eyeshadow brush, I am going through and literally cutting the crease, making sure that our eyelid is clear of any purple color that might have gotten blended down onto our eyelid. Then we're gonna move on to the fun green colors. The first one I am laying down as a base is this really, really fun color called Abduction. And on just a flat top eyeshadow brush, I am just gonna be packing this on the lid wherever there isn't purple eyeshadow. 
And then using the exact same brush, I'm gonna go in with the top color, which is a beautiful metallic green. This one is of course called Alien. I love, love, love this color. It's very pigmented. The color payoff is absolutely amazing. And as you can see, I am just packing that over top of the abduction color that we already applied. Next, I'm going in with this kind of greenish color and on a separate clean eyeshadow brush, I am taking a little bit of this and again, very lightly building that up in the outer corners of my eye just to add a little bit more dimension to this look to make it look a little bit more smoky and it kind of really went well with that alien color so I'm glad I did this. So I'm just kind of packing it in and very lightly blending it and then we're gonna go back in with the same brush and blend those two colors together. And then I also did the exact same thing for my inner corners as well. Next, I'm gonna go in and do some black eyeliner. This one is by Wet n Wild. It has been my favorite recently. And I'm just building up a big, thick cat wing, black cat wing, whatever you wanna call it. And then after that, you can go ahead and remove the tape. And now we can move on to the bottom part of the eyes. So first, I'm just taking a purple eyeliner from Positions Formula. And then I'm going back in with that purple shade, Area 51, and putting that on the lower lash line and then going through and buffing that out on the lower lash line to make it look nice and smoky. And then for eyelashes, I'm using the CoverGirl, oh gosh, I forgot what this one is called. It's the, it's the most recent one I got in PR, but it's really, really nice. I think it's called like the Super, something Super, I don't know. I'll have to look it up and put it in the description box for you guys, but I just applied this to my top and bottom lashes. Next, we're gonna move on to blush. This is a Madame Glam blush. Unfortunately, you cannot get it anymore, but I had to use it for this video because I thought it was perfect. Then for highlight, I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetic Skin Frost in Nefri and just applying that to my nose, my cheeks, my chin, on my brow bone, everywhere where I felt necessary. And then of course for lips, I wanted to do something just as dramatic. So I'm going in with Jeffree Star Cosmetics Abused Liquid Lip and first lining my lips with the Blue Velvet Lip Liner. And after you do the lips and set your face, you have completed this Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien Palette makeup look. <laughs> So here's how everything turned out. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had so, so much fun creating this look. It is hands down one of my favorite. I am in love with this palette. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a huge thumbs up down below. Don't forget to go down and subscribe. But until then, I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.